Hey, Weave, what's up? How you like that for some uh, extra bonus uh, coverage here on Friday Night Thunder? That's awesome stuff. Will Rabb joins us of WCDT here on the Friday Night Thunder scoreboard show. Big win tonight for the Rebels of Franklin County and uh, uh, a win against Giles County. And, and I, I mistakenly on uh, Prep Football Insiders called – uh, the, the Wallace kid, a Cobb, I, you know, they've had Cobbs and Wallaces down there at quarterback. Uh, he, he the, Wallace is everything that uh, was advertised, just like his brother Bo, but it sounds like Neyland outplayed him tonight. Well, everything that could, not to take away from the performance of Franklin County, but the luck started to bend their way this week as well. And you know how important luck is, Coach. Yep. Uh, it was... It was uh, Wallace, not Gene, who was uh, having trouble hooking up with his receivers throughout the night. It was Giles County who uh, threw an interception, also turned the ball over on down four times. Franklin County made a fourth down stand to stop Giles County in the ball game. It was Giles County who shot themselves in the foot with penalties. Franklin County... Uh, three penalties uh, for, I want to say, 35 yards. Giles County, nine penalties for 90 yards. That's the entire length of the football field that Giles County gave Franklin County. Giles County gave Franklin County four first downs via penalty. Mm. So Giles County kept the door open all night, let Franklin County be in the ball game, and Franklin County led uh, from start to finish. But Giles County opened that door, gave him a crack, and every time Giles County gave Franklin County a crack, they blew it wide open. Well, congratulations on the big win. Uh, Summit fell tonight to Brentwood, and uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, hey. Summit fell tonight to Page. Yeah, it was Nolensville that fell to Brentwood. I'm getting my I'm getting my Williamson County schools mixed up right now. Uh, There's about 500 of them, right? I, I believe so. I believe that they're opening up two more tomorrow. Uh, oh Lord. <laughs> The uh, they're running out of names for them. They're going to start numbering them. Uh, PS one hundred five. Well, maybe, we can, we can, maybe they can name one after us. I, no, no. Okay. I don't know. I don't want people protesting that forty years from now. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, it looks like that you guys and, and I th- I guess I inadvertently thought the game was at Giles County. Uh, you you dodged the weather that was happening over in in. Uh, uh, Lawrence County and Giles County. Uh, so uh, uh, you got the game in, and, and uh, you get an opportunity now to get a full weekend in preparation for the region matchup, right? Yeah, and that's huge. Uh, some it's not maybe quite what they were last year. I- I'm not saying that Franklin County's the better team by any means, but they'll go into that game with a lot of confidence. And it's a big stretch because the final uh, five games of the year – uh, our region games, and so it's a big opportunity uh, for Franklin County in a very competitive region. If they steal one next week against Summit, uh, they're they're sitting pretty there in five five a. So, a uh, big game next week, and, and uh, Dennis, you know, it's always a whole lot better to go into a game with confidence. Yep. than it is the other way around. It's easier to, to calm the kids down than to pump them up sometimes. Yes. Uh, Will, I will talk to you next week. Uh, have a great uh, have a great evening, and y'all finish celebrating, okay? Hey, we're going to go back to the party right now. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you on our Prep Football Insiders uh, coming up here on Wednesday. All righty. Uh, that is Will Rabb of WCDT, one of the charter members of the Friday Night Thunder Net- Radio Network.